us because 40 mm is quite a big thing which I didn't actually estimate I'll draw it quickly seventy two degrees here and seventy two degrees here now I'll draw forty mm I'm using a very basic method to draw this pentagon there are easier methods using your compass so you can use that drawing inscribing is a easier way to draw this now what I'll do is I'll have to find out the angle of one more so I'll keep it in this fa uh, fashion this is actually a longer method so you should actually avoid it so I mark this now what I'll do is another forty mm and finally i'll join these two lines will be actually 40 mm okay so i have my pentagon what i'll do is i'll name them this will be a dash b dash c dash d dash and e dash the next thing that i have to do is i have i'll draw the projectors of uh, oh first i should give this as 40 mm okay now i'll draw the projectors which will be exactly parallel to the line uh, perpendicular to the line which is this x y the next is this point the next is this point then comes this point then comes this point now as simple as it sounds I will draw a straight line connecting all the lines and now I will name the points this will be A, this will be E, this will be B, this will be D and this will be C. So this uh, pentagon that I have is my front view and the straight line that I have is my top view which is the solution for this particular problem. okay let's move on to the fourth example now we have a circular plate a circular plate again of uh, negligible thickness and radius 25 mm has its center 25 mm above HP and 50, uh, 50 mm behind VP so let's uh, the plate is perpendicular to HP so let's uh, just draw out this example directly on paper uh, because we have already uh, uh, seen the example so it won't be uh, difficult for us to draw this on paper first I'll draw my line X Y now where is my point located my point is located now uh, this is very interesting actually this is in the second quadrant why because the radius uh, so, uh, the point is 25 mm above HP and 50 mm behind VP that tells me that it is in the second quadrant in the second quadrant my HP and VP both are above the line XY so it will be it is an interesting uh, question that we have okay so let's see the radius is 25 mm and its center is 
25 mm above HP. So first I will mark 25 mm above HP. 25 mm above HP is this this point. So this is my say O dash. And the next is 50 mm behind VP. So in the same point I will mark 50 mm in the same line I will mark 50 mm behind VP this is O. So this point O dash is for my front view and this point is for my top view. And it is perpendicular to HP. So what I'll have is from the front view would be a circle of what this this 25 mm. So I will put this. This is 25 mm radius. So I have drawn a circle. And I will what I'll do is I'll make it darker. So this is the circle that we have. Now what the thing is that this is my front view. Now where will be my top view? My top view will be passing through the line O. So I have to draw the end projectors. So these are my end projectors. And my line will actually be this one. This red line that I have drawn. So if I mark my endpoints as say A dash and B dash, then this will be A and B and this will be my top view. Okay, let's move on to one of the problems for the inclined plane, which will be, I guess, the last problem that we will solve today. The fifth problem, a square ABCD, uh, 50 mm side has one of its corner in, uh, one of its corner A in HP and its diagonal AC inclined at 30 degrees to HP. Draw its projection. So. Now let's see what we are going to draw there. The given data, it is that it is a square. Okay, it is a square. The next thing that it is given is the side is 50 mm. Uh, that this is A, B, C and D. Then it says that the diagonal AC is at an angle of 30 degrees to HP and one of its corner A is in HP. So this is the data that is given and it is located in the first quadrant. It, if it is not mentioned that where the point is located then you should always take it in the first quadrant. So I will draw the line XY. The next thing that I'll do, do is I'll mark my VP and HP. The next thing uh, I'll draw first of all how it looks my in front view and how it looks in top view. Now the square is one of its corner is in uh, one of its corner is in HP and uh, it is making an angle of 30 degrees. So it is exactly perpendicular to VP so and the line will come something of the sort if I take this point and draw first I'll draw the square sorry let's draw the square of 50 mm side
50 mm side oh i'm i'm sorry for this actually it has to be this way one of its corner is in hp so this point has to be in hp then at 90 degrees i'll draw this line this is how it is and this point is in hp that is a this is b this is c and this is d and I will extend the end projectors. This is my VP and this is my HP. These both will be in the straight line. So I'll draw this. This is the basic thing that is given to me in the question. This will be A dash, B dash and D dash and C dash. So this is given to me. Now what I need to do is I, meet, I need to draw the projection of this squ square which is making the with diagonal that is AC which is making an angle of 30 degrees with HP. What I need to do is I'll pick up this and I'll keep it here exactly at 30 degrees. So I will have what? I will have my, uh, this? I'll mark 30 degrees. Now I've marked 30 degrees. So I'll draw a straight line. Oh, I'm sorry. Now I've drawn a straight line. So both my endpoints are there. This will be A1 dash and this will be C1 dash. And I need to measure this. I'll measure this distance and I will cut an arc. Now oh, the line. Oh, sorry. This point C. here and I need to mark this point this will be my C1 dash and I'll mark this point which will be my B1 dash and D1 dash now what I'll do is I'll extend the projectors from both the sides. Time is almost about up, so I need to hurry a bit. There might be a little bit. Okay, so I have these are the projectors that, that are there and now I'm going to extend it downwards to have my solution. So these are the points. This is A1, B1, C1 and D1. So this is the final solution that we have. You can see that this uh, length has been decreased a bit when it goes up to uh, 30 degrees. This is 30 degrees to HP. 
so this is the problem that uh, is the problem number five so i'll take your leave with this problem already five minutes late today so and a little bit of problems for drawing it faster so keep practicing and see you next sunday